What's up guys, this is Tyler with Candlelit Crime Scene here to bring you another tutorial. This one will be very quick, all I'm going to do is show you how to import VST plugins into FL Studio. The same process will be used whether you have FL Studio 10, 9, 8, whatever. Okay, the first thing you need to do is find a website and thankfully I have one right here that's excellent for a bunch of free VST plugins. You'll note that it has over 19 pages of different ones you can just download completely free and it's all legit stuff none of it is pirated or anything like that I'm sure you can find lots of that on the internet but this whole site here features nothing but a bunch of freeware which is great the one I'll be demonstrating for you today is the TL Noisemaker uh, version 3.01 and I think it's one of the best ones that I've found in a long time I'll have a direct link in the description to show you exactly where this is but in order to get that into this right here what you're going to have to do is you see a download button and again this will be different on any other website as long as you have the download button you're good to go uh, go ahead and left click that bam it's gonna download it uh, and obviously your computer just go ahead and left click on that now it's gonna bring it out as a dot zip so you'll need some kind of program to extract the files nearly every VST plugin that you download is gonna be at least some kind of dot zip or something like that that you'll need to extract all you simply have to do is extract that and whether you have 7-zip or WinZip or whatever you use it doesn't matter it'll be the same outcome it's gonna pop up the folder that has your extracted uh, VST plugin now all you have to do is go into your computer and find the image line folder now mine if you'll notice is located in the computer the OSC drive and then program files 86 uh, yours might be just regular program files don't worry too much about that you do want to check both though if you have both because mine's actually not in the, the regular program files so it does matter and then image line which is going to bring you to this folder right here and from here we're going to just uh, double click on FL Studio 10 if you have 9 or 8 it doesn't matter it'll be the same thing and then go down to where you find the word plugins and then VST plugins now it's going to open up the folder you'll see I have a bunch of other ones that I've uh, installed as well all you have to do is take this folder right here whereas the for us is the TAL Noisemaker which again I feel is a, a very useful plugin if you don't already have it you might as well go ahead and follow along and use this one all you have to do is left click hold it down and bring it on over okay now that we have the TAL Noisemaker down here in our folder all we simply have to do is go into FL Studio and just open that up now that we're in FL Studio you'll notice that these are the basic patterns that we've already got the instruments for but in order to add a plugin simply go up here to channels and you'll see the different list of all the plugins that you frequently use and you've added to your favorites list in order to add the TAL Noisemaker which you will notice is not located in here yet simply go over to more and you have the whole list of all your different plugins now again uh, it should be located in VST 1 and 2 plugins whatever mine again is not listed here yet and yours won't be either until you click refresh click on fast scan now we scroll down again and you'll see it's listed in red to notify you that hey there's a new plugin we just found if you want to add that to your favorites list or the list I just showed you a second ago simply left click here and you got the little F that pops up on the side go ahead and close this and again go back into channels you can actually add it directly from the list we were just on which was the more list but we're gonna go down here so now we notice it's on our favorite list so we can always find it a lot faster instead of having to go all the way through the more channel so we're simply gonna click TL Noisemaker and bam we can go ahead and start messing with it if you want to right click I'll just throw you really throw a note uh, C5 whatever play this so you can tell if you use these left and right little arrows you can switch the different sounds or you can click on this left drop down menu and go to presets and you'll see how many presets this just comes with at default which I think is pretty cool that's that's one of the reasons I uh, highly recommend this plugin. There's a lot of different options you can do with it. It's not just a simple synth, which are really good, and I'll show you a couple of those later tutorials. But yeah, this one's great. It has a lot of different options, and I uh, appreciate you guys watching. Thanks. Stay tuned for more. Bye.